Welcome back to Provision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Shining Force in Sega Genesis. Chapter 6 Descendant of the Sacred Dragons. The Shining Force finally reached the port of Rudo, far from prompt. So we drifted. Um, my favorite, RPG dancing inside of a bed. It's always a good time. And let me make sure I make myself full screen. Don't want to make that mistake as often as possible. Hi, I'm just going to walk out of bed. You're up! You were half dead when you got here. Glad you're feeling better. Oh, so am I, because man, I would have had to like, restarted the entire combat if I died. Be sure you see Karen before you leave. You're in Rudo, by the way. Rudo. Okay, let me search this book. Nothing is unusual. I don't know. That's a lot of barrel. Okay, in any event. There's lots of chitlins in here. Do not eat cat food. Okay. Hey, little girl, stop eating cat food. I'm Karen, we need your help. To the east is the town of Dragonia. The Runefoss army is near Dragonia, but Blue is all alone in the village? Wait, I know a character named Blue from Breath of Fire. And he's our friend, a baby sacred dragon. Please help Dragonia and Blue. You have a baby sacred dragon? I want it. Okay, anyway. Looks like lots of kitties. Did you hear about Blue from Karen? Yes. Please help Blue. All the children of this village are friends of Blue. Oh, so Blue's probably not going to leave. All right, got it. That's not the right... Uh, search. Karen is in. The Karen is in. This is Rudo. Uh, yes, I got that. Thank you. Kitty! Can you pet the cat? Woof woof! Wait, what? You're a pupper? That's a doggo! I was expecting kitties. I was pre-explained kitties. We kids can do anything! We even have a leader, Karen. Oh no, it's Little Lamplight, everybody. I'm patrolling to watch for danger. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I, am I standing in your way? Is your AI not... Like, you just walk around me? You're patrolling. Okay. Well, that was a weird transition. Why did I need that? Blue is great, great sacred dragon. He cries because he's just a baby. Oh no, not some Mario baby crying. Cleanup detail. Claire, Nana, Lance. I know a Lance. I know a Lance and Lancer. Oh. Uh, that's a Hellhound. Hello? Grr. Be quiet, Brit. He is a guest. You have a hellhound puppy? Who are you? Brit? Oh, he's my pet. I'm Kryn, Karen's sister. I know lots of stuff. I read all these old books. This book has some great stuff in it. Should I tell you about it? Oh, yeah. If we're summoning demon dogs, I need to know about that. The Manual of the Seal is a book that contains several chants. One of these breaks the seal on the Dark Dragon. Another renews the seal. The ancients used the second chant to bind the Dark Dragon 1,000 years ago. The manual has been guarded by the Sacred Dragons for centuries. You must go to Dragonia to try and stop Dark Soul from taking the manual. Blue cannot do it on his own. Okay. Let me check these books. Dragons, The History of Dragonia, and many more books. Oh, do they all say that? Long ago, and not so far away, ancient times, and many more books. Oh no, I can't get past your barrel! Seriously, I'm going to search your dog. 
nothing is unusual. There's a hellhound in a in a village full of children. All right, that's at least moderately unusual. I was gonna say mildly unusual, but you know what? No. Oh, hello. Are you blue? It's a bronze dragon statue. It reads, Our Dragon Forever on the statue. I think that's nice. Oh, look at your nice farm. We couldn't just leave all the children alone. A few of us stayed. Wait, where did everybody else go? What happened here? Nothing is unusual. That looks like somebody smashed a hoe. And I don't mean like a Grand Theft Auto. I mean like... Like, that looks like something you'd hoe up the earth with, and it's smashed. Weapon shop. Reveal your secrets. Do come in. We got the best you know. Take your time, take your time. Got any deals? What has any deals? What'd you like? Steel sword, a chrome lance. Battle axe. Gardania staff. Um, thirty-two thousand. Yeah. Who do you wish to have it? I wish for Chris to have it. Chris can't use this. Do you still want it? Yeah. Use it in good health, my friend. Anything else? No. Then you can come again. I'm just stocking up on these items for when people promote. And people will hopefully be promoting soon? Question mark? Hello? I'm a merchant from Rindo. I can't do business here. Everyone here is a child. Well, then you should just leave. Alright, what's up, priest? Been expecting you. How can I help you and the Shining Force? Uh, is, is Henri dead? Henri might be dead. No, Gong is in bad shape. We revive Gong, but it'll take 90 gold. Well, let's do it to it. Gong has revived. Can I help some other way? Yes, you can save. Remember, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can catch live streams at twitch.tv slash huntermon. There, there, my record of your exploits is complete. Will you continue your journey? Yes. Can you help in some other way? No. May the powers of light be always with you, and also with you. But anyway. Alright, pupper. Chico. I was turned into a chicken once. Hey, don't bother me. Can't you see that I'm busy? No, no one can see that you're busy. Adults are bad. They just gave up on dragons. Oh, that is pretty bad. Giving up on dragons? No adults allowed. Go home. Your shirt is dirty. You should wash it. Um, it's covered in the blood of my enemies. It's got a nice smell. Nothing is unusual. Hi, everybody. There used to be lots of sacred dragons, but now there's only one. Blue. That seems bad. We decided to protect the sacred dragons by ourselves. We don't need any help. Who left you guys here? Also, is that the candle from Zelda? Boo! Hiss! Down with adults! Okay, alright, just calm down. I'm gonna search your chest and take your stoof. That just covers a healing seed. Jacob, it's a treasure chest. Discovers a holy staff, but can't carry it. A holy staff? Okay, hold on. Transfer whose item? Oh. Right, I already have... Who gets the healing? That's a good question. Hell. I guess if you need to heal yourself... I guess it's good for Jack to keep something on him. Wait, what other things does Jack have? 
You got like a accessory that you're using, Jack? No. Okay. I, that's not what I meant. I meant search. Holy staff. People are okay with me having this. I'm gonna press all the wrong buttons before I press the right button. Who gets the holy staff? That's a good question. Um, are you guys in order? No. Uh, I can't give it to you. So, Tao is currently out. So, Henri. Equip button. She can't equip it either. Okay. I wonder what Holy Staff is for. Hi, kiddo. We made a strong barricade in case the adults try to come back. What? Heave, heave, ah! What timing? I'm about to remove the last rocks. Heave, ho, ha, heave, ho, ha. Eve, Eve! Wow, kid. Wow. You strong. Pretty strong, eh? Yeah? I don't think I have anything left to do in town, so moving on. Attacked out in the open world? Looks like it. These Gardenia fools must be stopped. Kane's mission is vital. Attack! Jack, you must quickly break through to Dragonia. Well, on that note... I want to thank everybody so much for watching, but it's only been like 10 minutes into this recording, so actually I'm just going to put the combat here. I don't know I don't know why I do that. I like doing that. It's silly. I, I probably shouldn't do that. Alright. Check the map. Huh. It's a lot of unused space in the map. Makes me think there's going to be like reinforcement shenanigans. So many shenanigans! Are those all artillery, though? Are we gonna have to travel through those mountains? Alright, hold on. Let's split everybody up. Oh wait, artillery only attacks up close, though, right? I think we discovered that in a previous map, when I thought they were gonna do, like, long-range lob attacks and stuff, and they didn't. Maybe Guns actually needs the mobility. Guns might actually... Well, actually, they both need the mobility. try and not die by poison, everybody. So we have a minimum of 11 turns. Because I think Jack has at least 22 hit points. Attack the artillery! All the rest of your stats heal between... Oh, May is level 16. Speed increased by 2. All the rest of your stats increase between, um... Or heal up. You heal up between encounters. So... It's distracting that stuff like poison... Now, like I said previously, the main problem isn't that it keeps you poisoned. It's that it gives you no indication when you're back in town that anything's wrong with any of your characters. Like, it doesn't remind you. 
Oh, by the way, so-and-so is poisoned, you know? That'd be pretty good to have. Oh, you do have a range. Actually, you have a... Oh, wait. Domingo suffers a point of damage. So you can... So you're like an archer. You can hit up to two points away. Well, you attack, so let me see if I can hit you before you get an attack off. Ten points of damage. Artillery is defeated. I don't think Chris can do four points of damage to this thing. Otherwise, I'd wait. Luke's level increased to 16. Defense increased by 1. Speed increased by 1. Maximum hit points increased by 5. Shnikey yikes. Oh, actually, I don't know what that one guy is. I'll have to check in a moment. Balbaroy in the woods! Five points of damage. It's a very Mega Man X- Ow! Ow! Stop! 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 Okay, so... Just to be clear, that's... Okay, I was right. So Jack has about 22 hit points. Jack has 25 hit points. So we don't want Chris getting too far away from Jack. Domingo is getting crazy powerful. And puts the damage on the artillery. Artillery is defeated! That guy at speed zero. Promoting at 20? That is my current intention. I have a bad history with JRPGs of both despising grinding and also um, feeling constantly underpowered for stuff later in the game. And I don't want that to happen because I'm having a good time. So I'm just going to put off promoting everybody until I get to 20 because that will give them the most number of level ups they can have to answer your question. To my understanding. I've actually never played this game before, so I'm doing the best that I can. Jack takes two poison damage. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal those just to be careful. The end game will be pretty cake then. That's what I'm looking for. I like to get overpowered in my RPGs. It's one of the reasons I hate like games that have all the bad guys level with you through the whole game, I hate that. I despise that. I want to I wanna go back to early parts of a game and find out that, like, enemies are now paper to me. They're inconsequential because I'm so much more st stronger than they are. And, you know, I also like feeling strong because feeling strong means if I deal with a strong enemy, I know they're a strong enemy and they didn't just level to me. Like, they're legitimately strong. Uh, yes, like Final Fantasy VIII, like Bethesda games, um, Final Fantasy VIII, I had an idea, I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VIII is, isn't that the game where they only level to the main character? So if you actually have Squall get, like, beat in the face sometime early in the game, and then never, like, basically res him in battle, that 
he will keep falling behind in level and then all the bad guys stay easy. I think I've I think I've heard that somewhere. I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII since basically it came out. And considering how many people I have in my chat who are uh, way younger than I am, and Jack's Poison. Never really got that far, I hated the draw system. I did not hate the draw system. In fact, the draw system in Final Fantasy VIII, I really... Okay, Master Mage has appeared. Alright. This only started happening on the last map, where dudes would appear. And that's not cool. Master Mage appears. Master Mage appe Oh! Oh no! Worm appears! Worm appears? Uh, e um, e er, um, e um. Anyway, I like the idea of the draw system. I do believe it could have been better executed, but I don't hate it. Excuse me. You guys need to freeze. You just need to chill out for a second. Oh, good. That's dead. I guess worms are weak to freeze? Alright, what I don't like in this game is that you literally only get the experience points for the most experience points if you hit- If you hit multiple dudes with a single attack, you only get the most experience points from one of the guys you hit, even if you hit, like, five people. Oh, I guess Domingo is weak to... Ice magic? Oh no! They're wiping out Domingo! I have been attack zord by many mages. Oh, this might be the first map I fail in a while, just because, like, the main character's got poison on him, and there will come a point where I can't heal him anymore. These mages are pretty, pretty strong, actually, doing 10 points of damage with their freeze. See if we can start taking dudes off the board. I don't have detox because I don't have. Who had detox? It was the guy. Who was the guy? I don't remember now. I don't. I don't have low. I. You are correct. Low. Yes. I don't have low on my party. I've only really recently started getting people with uh, poison, and it hasn't really been a big deal. But the problem is. Since the game doesn't let you know, back in the story segments, that anybody in your party is inflicted with a, uh, a status ailment, um, I don't remember. Um, like, if you ever play Breath of Fire 3, if one of your characters is poisoned and you're walking around, you take little ticks of damage and, like, flashes of light appear on screen to indicate that you are walking around casually between combat, but you're still being affected by a status. And since this game doesn't do anything like that, I don't rem I don't ever remember in town to deal with it. I could kill that worm, but then the mage would still be in standing. No, let's let's focus on the uh, let's focus on the mage. Master mage. Dodge. Freaking dodge. Silo, I need you to cue it. Good hit. Nice second hit. I appreciate it. Let's move over here. Wait, hold on, wait. If I move over there, then there's a very unlikely Chris is going to be able to get up to heal Domingo. Oh, I can move here. Master Mage is defeated! Sure, attack me, that's fine.
Damn it, Henri. You need one of those movement things. Uh, is Domingo dead? Maybe. Domingo quickly evades. Nice. Get anywhere. Luke, I want you to hit this mage as hard as you can. Nice. Double nice. Luke gains 48 experience. Okay, come over here. Hit this worm. I don't know if you can do 7 points of damage. You might be able to. Nice! Deadly attack! Guns level increased to 11. Speed increased by 1. Maximum hit points increased by 2. So, uh, how you doing, fat guy? You, um... You enjoy Shining Force, or... Just searching for old favorites or something? Like, what brings you here? Poison Jack's body place two points? Okay, hold on. I'm expecting more than one. Oh no, I can't quite. Well, hold on. Actually, he needs a big heal, so I can do the big heal from over here. I'm gonna stand on this cliff edge. I'm gonna heal. That was not a full heal. Let's put some damage on this worm. Doing it went to eight. Maximum magic points increased by three. Man, he was just a magic machine. Love Shiny Force since I could try to support anyone playing the game. Oh, cool. Well. Easiest way to support would be to give a follow. Um, let's see here, and I guess I could let you know that uh, I'll link it here in the chat in just a second. Um, I have a poll going on for what games, what other games I would be playing on stream. So you could also vote in that poll. It's a, uh, it's like, it's like 30 games, and you just pick the top game you'd most want to see me play, and. Um, Then you can choose the second, third, fourth, and fifth most game you'd want to see me play, and you can also suggest future games. I have confirmed uh, an English version of Shining Force CD. It's not actually on the list, but um, somebody somebody has there's a blank at the end of this poll for people to be able to suggest their own games and play styles for those games, up to three games, uh, in a little paragraph at the in the last page. And, um, at least one person so far has already suggested Shining Force 2. So, just putting that out there. I haven't finished this game yet, so let's, let's try and not get too far ahead of ourselves, but... Okay, I guess Gong is so slow, Gong is going to stick with Jack and keep the heals on. Mages can't walk through the woods very well. Try and not get too far away ahead of Gong. The poison jacks. Okay. Yep, yep. But yeah, uh, no plot spoilers, but feel free to indicate mechanical things if I overlook them. Because I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to not learn, and there are some insides of the system I don't really. Yes, I've heard very good things about Shining Force 2. The reason I'd want to play um, uh, Shining Force CD is because chronologically, th those are the games that happen next in order, and they involve some of the characters in this game. A golem appears. There, I am so glad I didn't move that far ahead. 
Yeah, it is troubling without the manual. You're not wrong. That's a lot of golem. That is, that is a fudging lot of golem. We're gonna go for a double hit on these. See if freezing the rock makes any difference. Whoa! Deadly attack! Golem is defeated! But he only gets the experience points for the one guy. That's super unfortunate. I sense a pattern coming on. But can you do seven points of damage to this rock face? No, you cannot. Zyla, you're not in the... You're not dealing with aerial combat anymore. Let's see if you can take out a golem. You can almost take out a golem. A deadly attack for 5 damage? Xyla's level increased to 17. Attack increased to 3. Defense increased by 3. Nice. But, um, some dudes are still alive. Alright, Gong has become... Jack's personal healer. Jack would be Max. I won't rename him next time. I thought the game was going to ask me to name everybody, but it only asked me to name the one character. to make a front line and have the mages catch up. I see that now. These are the first golems I've had to deal with. It's too bad the game doesn't have a certain, like, scouting... A situation where you could know before you get into combat. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Before you get into combat, like maybe what you'll be dealing with. Oh, never mind, you die anyway. I haven't seen Balboroy go down in a long time. Alright, so I don't want to get into physical combat, and I want to hit them with magic spells. Yeah. Ow. Come on, seven eight points of damage. Hmm. We got jumped by a whole bunch of mages, and then we got jumped by a whole bunch of physical combatants. Fourteen experience points. Golem is defeated. 
Come on, slow increase to 15. Attack increased by 1. Speed increased by 1. Maximum hit points increased by 3. I'll be surprised if anybody has 100 hit points by the time this is all over. Okay, Xylo's gonna be in pain in a second. Or not. Xylo's gonna be fine. Huh. as far as you can move, so... Yeah, we're doing that. Put some damage on! May gains 8 experience points. Alright, Luke. Run to Dagobah. Run to Dagobah. Man, the heavy hitter with 6 damage. Yeah, artillery, just sit back. More attacks on Xylo. Luckily, only one swing that time. Ken suffers eight points of damage. Well, Ken is actually one of the tanks. Can you hit a golem for three damage, Guns? I don't think you can. You cannot. Valiant effort, though. You guys just stay back there for a sec. We'll, we'll get to you eventually. Oh, uh, this is such a bad idea. But we need more damage up here up front. Okay, you know what? Waste of my time. Waste of everybody's time. Put me in danger. And the poison. And the brain damage. But anyway. Um... Is there anybody who needs a heal I can actually get to? 24 of 32? I didn't realize how much damage that did a second ago. So I'm gonna go with Ken. Even though that puts Chris in basically one-shot danger range of, um... Any of these golems. I don't think Chris is currently going to make or break this uh, encounter. Chris got 10 experience points. Okay. Oh wait, not that one. Two and seven. I think you can beat up this one, and this one's closer to Chris. Nice. Exactly. Well, this is defeated. Domingo's level increased to nine. Attack level increased by five. Defense increased by two. What are you, Domingo? Jeez. Fifteen of seventeen. You know, Xylo, as much as I want you to go hit something that's worth taking damage from you, I also want you to take this golem off the board. Black points of damage. Attacks. Two points of damage on the golem. Eight experience points. All right, now it's time to question Durahan. Broadsword equipped. Amon is wounded, so it'd be good to put Amon in range of the healer. only gonna do one or two damage, but, like, so is everybody else. Let's say, Henri, are you here yet? Of course you're attacking Jack. Please don't hit him twice. Could've been worse. 
worse. Absolutely could have been worse. One point of damage. Ken, are you about to kill still this again? You might be. Nope. Ken's level increased to 18. Attack level increased by 1. Defense level increased by 2. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll move Luke forward. Oh man, that one point though. Poison. Alright. Mage, please finish. Henri, let's go. Eight points of damage on the golem. Golem is defeated. Henry's level increases to 12. Attack level increases by 1. Defense increases by 1. Maximum hit points increase by 1. Well, at least it doesn't not go up. Okay, Chris. Um, 23 of 24. 17 of 27, so Xyla could use a good heal. 16 of 27. Oh, Grunts is really bad off. Let's try and heal Grunts. Oh, wait, I only have 5 MP, so let's go for the full heal on Grunts, which probably won't heal him all the way full, but I mean, we're trying. Grunts regains 13 hit points. Let's see here, no MP. Alright, Mei moving up because she's very tanky. Uh, Silo cautiously move up? I feel like I gotta sneeze. Gone with the actual heal on Jack. Thirteen hit points. So that's good. How many hit points do you have? Twenty two. See if Amon can get any damage on this artillery. Yes. Poison in Jack's body. I don't think Honoré has gotten to do anything in this encounter. Chris has now become staff-wielding melee user. Okay, hi. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Alright, got an artillery off the board. We are having the time. Domino, Domingo, I mean, blah. I I don't actually know how much you do in melee damage, but we need to start putting damage on. <laughs> Two points of damage, kind of what I expected. But 
if nothing else, you're a... I don't want to say human shield, but... Alright, Durahan, I'm expecting to be thick like a golem. Oh! It's a centaur... armor version of that guy from Darkstalkers. Bush... Bushimun? Bushimun. Much as I don't want to move Mon away from heal, yeah, I can't get Amon into healing range. Well, can I? Gong, how many MP do you have left? All right, let's let's not lose Amon. Let's be wise about this. Hit points. Take experience points. Uh, game. I can't. I can't see. Am I there? No target. So I am there. Oh shit! That's not where I thought it was. Ooh, Zyla almost died. Huh, I might actually have to egress out of this. This is not good. Poison a Jack's body inflicts two damage. If I do manage to do this, I will barely have it. Points of damage is good. I, wait, what? I didn't see a high priest. Did you say heal level four? Wow, that used up a lot of your MP. You can't really do that that often. Freaking Pokemon trainers out here with their full heals, am I right? Oh, wait, hold on. Giant AoE blast. That's why Mage has got to go down first. Megumingo suffers 10 points of damage. Mage suffers 11. Sparkly effects everywhere. Xylo is defeated. Too bad you can't, like, jellyfish, like, suck out MP and then use it. Really? Mingo got more than one hit in? I can't get to that mage right now. Okay, hold on. Is this artillery hurt? 12 of 14. Not really. Focus on this guy. Because he's the guy I can get to. Oh, wait. Actually, actually, Harmon, smack, smacking the artillery would have been way, way smarter. Almost killed him. Maze level increases 17. Worthwhile, regardless of what happens. Maximum hit points increased by 7. What? What? Priest is going for the heal. Okay, literally cannot do that another time. Alright, let's take out the artillery then. Maybe. Possibly. Got it. Artillery is defeated. Luke's level increased to 17. So I got people increasing in level throughout this combat, which is really good. So even if I lose it and have to come back... Let's put damage on the mage. 
Wow, this is a really long recording, though. I didn't realize how long I've been at that. I just, the mage! The mage! She's still back there! Thank you, Domingo. Your sacrifice is, is appreciated. Uh, let's not move into Mage Blasty range. How many turns we got left on this Jack situation? Okay, five turn or six turns we all lose anyway. So wait, wait, wait. Don't you have one hit point? No, you're about to get your turn. So I don't understand why they heal the turn before their turn. Chris, I need you to sacrifice your body. I think. Let's think about that. Luke just got a turn. Four points of damage on the mage. Okay. Extra damage on the Durahan. Alright, let's stab this mage. Actually, I cannot for the life of me tell when they heal. Because he didn't. I'm about to say, he didn't immediately get his turn. His turn was like three turns back. Alright, Luke should live. Uh, Chris might die. Nope, Chris lives. May died. Alright, we have a real problem there. Oh, you can get around behind. Well, the mage is officially the problem. So slash the mage if you can. Please don't miss. Good hits. Good hits. So many coins. Priest is basically out of the ability to do anything. They're out of MP. Luke with the good swing. How hard are you, Jack? Pretty hurt. We're gonna move up here and we're gonna cast a healing spell on you for three MP. Get some experience and keep us in the battle. In case the AI decides to run long ways around and just go smack Jack, which I would not put past it. Gong's level increased to 10. Attack increased by 2. Maximum hit points increased by 2. Goodbye, Domingo. This is literally going to be a costly battle. Hi, priest. My hand gets 13 hit points. I didn't think you had enough for enough healing. Poison. Attack the High Priest. Ten points. Oh. I don't think you can beat the High Priest, but you can put damage on him. Yeah, there you go. I wish you could make the uh, interface go away, but uh, I kind of knew where I was. You missed? That's actually quite bad. Okay, Priest can't 
heal itself, so... Or anyone else for that matter. Way to miss grunts. Twenty-one damage? Whoa! Whoa! Centaurs are off the battlefield. They are down. Wait, what? Oh, you're just swinging on Amon? Amon evades. Flame on. Only gonna get the experience points for one of them, but one of them's a kill, I think. Oh, my bad! I think you just finished it off on, really. So much flashing. Fourteen hundred fifty coins. I only got the experience for killing one person. You'll never be Cain, shining fools! Jack, you must stop Kane before he finds the Manual of the Seal. Onward! Alright. On that note, for everybody who is watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been a long recording of Improvision Entertainment Presents Shining Force. I've been Huntermon, and I will see you in the future.